Gender bender? Huh? Magic chair? Do your stuff. Whoa, wait a minute. I want to be a boy again. I'm a boy again. Hey, what happened to my voice? Hi, my name's Sarah Ruger. Do you like what you just saw? You'll be learning how to make your own videos just like that one. In fact, that video was created by kids in just about an hour using the in-camera editing method, which means they did the whole thing with only one camcorder and a lot of planning. And of course, lots of imagination. Hi, this is Somac for WJMT, the station that brings music to your classroom live from your school. Let's go on location. Making your own video really isn't as hard as it seems. If you follow the steps that are outlined in this video, they are the basics. What's your idea? Production techniques. Storyboard your idea. Who does what? Rehearsing. In-camera editing. Videotaping. Did you notice that videotaping was the last step in the process? To make a successful video, you'll need to do a lot of work before you turn the camera on. Let's join a workshop in Vermont to watch Sue McGowan, a video specialist who helps people make their own videos. We'll watch as he teaches a group of kids how to plan and videotape a series of videos called If Kids Ran the Schools. The Basics. If we don't know our purpose, how can we possibly make a tape that'll accomplish anything? Be sure you understand why you're making the tape in the first place. To get them interested in their town, to show how to recycle, or to convince people that belly button lint's a national disgrace. <laughs> Anything you want to do. Secondly, determine who your audience will be for your video. Think about it, a, a video made for a group of first graders is going to be really different, possibly, from a video made for a road crew. If you don't know who you're trying to reach and your purpose isn't clear, your tape will never have the focus that it needs. Finally, how long is your tape going to be? What's the length? Think about how watching a 30-second commercial is different from watching a two-hour movie. Now it's time to determine how you want your tape to look. For example, will it mimic a commercial? Is it in fact a commercial? The following are some traditional ways that you folks can use to make your own tape. Soap operas, commercials, horror movies, newscasts, situation comedies, game shows, puppets. Of course, you can invent your own unique way of doing TV as well like land in a life of upside down. <laughs> you won't be able to make a videotape using just one camcorder without understanding in-camera editing. Most videos are made using fancy editing equipment. Since you may not have access to that kind of equipment, we're going to show you how to do all the editing inside the camera as you shoot. Now, even if you do have editing equipment, the principles behind in-camera editing will really help you make a better video. Suppose you want to make a video called The Problem with Sleeping in Class. Your first shot is a kid sleeping. Your second shot is a teacher noticing that the kid is sleeping. And finally, your third shot is a teacher's revenge. Like Following your storyboard, you set up your first scene, okay. then you shoot it. Ready? Yeah. Now, press the start stop button to pause the recording. So in the set up your second scene and shoot it. Pause the recording. OK, so what do we think is the next step? Somac. I guess I set up the third scene, shoot it, pause the recording, and watch the whole video. Excellent. Now this creates a tape that's edited, meaning when you watch it, it tells a finished story from beginning to end. We're done with it now. Do you want to watch the tape? Yeah. Let's do it. Later on, we'll go over some more specific in-camera editing techniques. Just remember, as long as you think about what you're doing before you actually turn on your camcorder, you'll be amazed at what you can create. In other words, before you turn on your camcorder, turn on your brain. Your finished video is only as great as your idea. Don't be satisfied with it unless you are excited about your idea. What's your idea? The first thing you need to do is focus in. 
I said focus in on the topic you want to turn into video. So what do you want to make a video about? You need to decide what your purpose is before you can even think about picking up a camcorder. Our group decided that we wanted to have our purpose be to look at something familiar in a different way. After our group figured out our purpose, we came up with all of these great ideas and we decided to work on this one, if kids ran the school. Okay, who can tell me who the audience is going to be for the videos we're about to create? Sybil. Whoever's watching us right now, you out there. <laughs> You're probably a average person, I guess. Probably a kid but not necessarily. Exactly. So we have a lot of factors to consider when we're thinking about our audience. OK, now we need to brainstorm some ideas for if kids ran the school. Does anybody have any ideas? Catered. Catered food. Catered food. <laughs> yeah, little <laughs> Hot tub in the bathroom. Hot tub? <laughs> Hot tub in the bathroom. Oh, don't be like any detentions or. Um, OK. Okay, we came up with three great ideas. Music on the intercom, by request, perhaps. Beam from place to place, getting around, you know, like on, like on Star Trek. And classes would look like dot, 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 whatever we think they'd look like. Okay, let's break up into groups now, and we're going to figure out the specifics of our idea. Don't forget, be as creative as you can, and also, we're doing in-camera editing. Are there any questions? Josh. Um, since we're doing in-camera editing, we can only use s shots that we've taken, we can't use shots that other people have taken or something that's already been on TV? That's absolutely correct. Just remember, you'll only be using one camcorder, nothing else. OK, let's break up into groups. I think we could like, take a pill or have something shocked into us so we wouldn't have to sit there for a whole hour in the one classroom. Oh, yeah. And we could just automatically learn it. Yeah. Like put a little you know, chip in your brain that can... <laughs> A little memory chip. I like that. Arguing over a song. Got on that desk. I just pick it up. Yeah, I'm like arguing over words with a song or something. Wait. Start arguing. All right, call them up. Call them up, will you? Yeah. Call start up the arguing. station. Start arguing about and what it is. Right. Develop it. Now you're starting to think about how it's going to look. You're already getting into storyboards here. So figure out your figure out your storyline. You got a great idea on this one. I need one person from each group to get up and tell the rest of the cl the class what they're doing. So we'll start with you. Job. Okay, everyone quiet, listen up. It's a good idea if you can use it. Okay, we're doing a documentary about classrooms. It's called Classrooms of a D Today, um, the year 2050. Uh, our group is, uh, we're going to do a commercial. This is the, from here to there, BMO. And we're basically going to have our own type of radio station in our school where we play requests over the intercom. And basically, we'll, we'll have, we'll play dedications, all types of music, have our own type of top ten type of thing. So do we like the ideas so far? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Before we go on to the next step, let's learn some more about production techniques. Here's how to do some basic production techniques. Try them and see what you can do with your camera and your imagination. Production techniques. Any shot can have a different feel if you shoot it from another perspective or point of view. Let's see how different it looks from a dog's eye view of the world. And you can get quite a different effect depending upon where your actors focus their attention. See what I mean? Light is more than just a technique. It's a key to good video. When you're indoors, be sure to use as much light as possible. Just be careful of backlighting, light coming from behind. There, now how's that? Shooting outdoors generally gives you the best lighting. Whoops. Just make sure that the sun is behind you. Just like light, good sound, or audio as it's called, is very important in making a good video. One of the biggest audio problems you'll run into is too much background noise. The best way to handle background noise is to get rid of it. If you can, turn it off. Or get away from it. Also, the closer you are to the main person or thing you are trying to hear, the less distracting the background noise is. In general, 
Keep your camera microphone about four to seven feet away from who or what you want to hear. Try to avoid wind, because it can get very noisy. There are unlimited fun things that you can do with audio that can give your tape a whole different feel. While I tape the caterpillars, I can play music, make chomping noises, and even narrate. And so ends another visit to the Wild Kingdom. Animation is pretty simple to do, and if you do it the right way, it can make a big impact. What I'm going to do first is go over to the camera, start it, let it run for one second, stop it, go over to the food or object that I'm going to do, and put it in its position, go over to the camera again, start it, let it run for one second, stop it, and go over to the food and put it in a different position. Keep moving the objects ever so slightly until they are in the position that you want them to be. Just remember to move your objects when the camera is off. That way all the audience sees is a magical animation. Let me finish my shooting and we will watch it. You can have a lot of fun with the composition of your shots. Yes, you can have a lot of fun with the composition of your shots. As I said, you can have a lot of fun with the composition of your shots. And you'll want to vary your use of close-up shots, medium shots, and wide shots. Most of the time you'll want to make sure that your shot is in focus. But being out of focus sometimes might give you the effect that you need. And it's very important to keep your camera as steady as possible. Whew. Your camera can take an active role in making your shots come alive. This is called a pan. You can also zoom in. You can zoom out too. There are lots of fun ways to get the shots you want. Here's how we got the moving dolly shot. Pretty neat, eh? Storyboard your idea. A storyboard is an outline of your video showing each shot in order using little pictures. Confused? Watch. We're going to make a storyboard for the magic gender bender chair. First you fold a piece of paper in half. And then in half again. Like this. Each square is a separate scene. Now you need to draw pictures to outline what your video will look like. Like this. It's not pretty. But it doesn't have to be. It's only meant to outline the shots you will create. All videos are made up of sound and picture, so you will need to tell what they are, like this. Also, you need to tell what production techniques you want to use, like this. Let's go back to Stu and see what the rest of the group came up with. OK, you have your paper folded. Let's put your ideas onto that paper. And then we show like some students talking everywhere, just like getting ready to go to class. Yeah, and the classroom will be all set up and everything. And then we'll immediately go on to the classroom. All right, but first is a shot of the school and you introducing. School and introducing. All right. Introducing your name. Your first scene should be your establishing shot. All right, that's what's going to tell your audience practically everything they need to know for the rest of the video. Where you're at, what you're doing. First scene. Our first scene, if we just see him going to the okay. water fountain and saying something, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. You know, well, that's no, what you I was just going to like, introduce you it. You do have to have an intro. Yeah, now, that's what it mainly no, is. There's different ways to do intros, too. For yeah. instance, you could have a, a celebrity introduction. Hi, I'm Monique. You know me from General Hospital. I can do whatever. some gym one with that ball. <laughs> to <a little> basketball <laughs> player. <laughs> yeah. You could. That's what I want you to figure out. We're going to be like, yeah, And then you're on the steps, right? Yeah. yeah. So the steps. One, like, get a clip of the school and then kind of fall oh, towards yeah. us or something. Okay, yeah, we got three guys. <laughs> There you go. Shana's name is Sharina. This one's lighter. A better color so you can see it in the dark. We can do that. Okay. Now that you've completed your storyboard, you need to show it to some other people to get input into improving it. Okay, so we got the we got the DJ. He's gonna be he's gonna be taking requests from people who are calling in from other classrooms. 
And after after we got after we got some of the DJ and playing some music, whatever that is, we'll go into the hallway and maybe we'll probably need some of you there. We'll just need students walking by. And All right, we're finally at the point where suggestions have been given. We've gotten some changes. It's time to create your finished storyboard. Now we have to make this as detailed as possible because really this is what you're going to be shooting from. All right. Any questions? Let's do it. Who does what? Video productions don't just happen. There are a lot of things that you need to do to make a finished tape. So, if a group of people are working together, you need to decide who does what. If you're working alone, it's all up to you. Okay, you've only got one camcorder. It's a one camcorder production. So there are two key people, the camera person and the director. The director is responsible for the whole production. Are the actors or talent doing their lines correctly? Are the props well done? Do you shoot indoors or outdoors? The camera person works closely with the director and needs to concentrate on finding the best shot and making sure that technical concerns, like lighting and audio, are done correctly. Sometimes the director is the boss of the camera person. Sometimes it's the other way. Sometimes they work together on it. You have to decide how you want to do it before you start taping. You don't want any problems once the taping starts. Just as important as your crew is your talent. Now think about it. If you don't have someone that's good on camera, what good's your video? Hold auditions and decide who's best for the parts. Sometimes the director decides who's going to appear on camera. Sometimes the whole group will do it. It's up to you to decide how to choose your talent. Now you've got your crew and your talent, but besides them, there are a lot of people behind the scenes, a whole lot of people, that make a good production happen. Think about it. How come there's so many credits on feature films? Some of these include costume design and manufacture, prop assembly, makeup artists, graphic artists, location scouts, and lighting directors. There's plenty of room in any video production for all different types of talent to shine. Rehearsing. Make sure each shot in your video is ran through several... Make sure each shot in the video is run through several times to iron out the wrinkles before... Make sure that each shot in the taping is run through several times to iron out the wrinkling. Make sure that each shot in the video is run through several times to iron out the wrinkles before final taping. Because you are doing in-camera editing, everything has to be right before you even turn on your camcorder. Pay attention to all the details, like your props. Good ones can make the difference between an okay tape and a great one. Now it's time for a review of the steps leading up to in-camera editing. First, you need to define your audience, purpose, and length. Then you need to brainstorm and pick a topic. Once you know what you want to work on, construct your storyboard. When your storyboard is done, choose the camera person, director, and assign all the other jobs. Rehearse each scene to be ready for in-camera editing. In-camera editing. Finally, it's time to turn on your camcorder. Press the button that starts the recording, which is the start-stop button, and shoot your first scene. At the end of the scene, Cut. hit your button again. That will pause your camcorder so you can set up your second scene. Once the second scene is rehearsed, press the start-stop button and shoot it. When done, press the button again to pause the camera. Repeat the same steps for the third scene. Stu will be telling you some hints to follow when doing in-camera editing. Number one, it's possible that you won't like the shot that you just recorded. If you want to redo it right then, and I suggest you do, you must do the following, which I call view it and cue it. Switch your camcorder to VCR mode and play your tape. While viewing your tape through your viewfinder, pause your tape just at the end of the last shot. Do not use the stop button, as this will not queue up your tape accurately. If you see static, go back and queue up again. Switch back from VCR to camcorder mode. It looks like now, shoot the scene again. If you turn off your camcorder for any reason, you must also view it and queue it. Number two, when does your camcorder begin recording? Just because your record light goes on, or your camera says record, doesn't mean that it started to record exactly at that moment. Always allow your camera time to get up to speed before cueing your talent. Some cameras take less than one second, some cameras take up to four seconds to actually begin recording. 
Every camera is different, so learn the startup time for your camera before you do your final taping. Once you know your camera's startup time, cue your talent to begin speaking. Number three, suppose you shoot a video which has 20 shots. Now you go back to view it and you find out that shot number 15 is no good. What do you do? You need to rewind your tape back to the beginning of shot number 15 and reshoot everything that comes after that. You cannot just insert shot 15 between shot 14 and 16. You're going to have to go all the way back and redo everything from 15 on. Videotaping. After all the pre-production work you've put into your video, it's finally time to tape. It's new and improved with wacky colors, too. Well, gotta go. Yes, it is, Josh. What you want today? I got something my mental flops. Wake us up today. Sounds cool, Josh. It's on the air. So now that you've seen the whole process, let's look at the finished tapes of If Kids Ran the Schools. Hey, you've heard of that new radio station in school? What's it called? WJMT. Yeah, you can call and request any song you want. And every Friday they have a top 10 countdown. You can win prizes and everything. Let's go. Cool. This is neat. Hi, this is Sumac for WJMT, the station that brings music to your classroom. Hey, Sumac, what's up? Hey, this is Sumac Music for WJMT, the station that brings music to your classroom live from your school. Let's go on location to see some of our listeners and what they feel about our new radio station. What do you think about the new school radio? Yeah, I really like it. It helps me get my homework done. Uh, I think it's educational, really. I just like the music. R squared pi. As I've shown the example on the board. Now, over here. Hi, is it Josh? This is WJMT? Yes, it is, Josh. What you want today? How about something by Mental Floss to wake us up today? Sounds cool, Josh. It's on the air. All right, thanks. From here to there, BMO. In a sticky situation, a boring class, try BMO. It's new and improved with wacky colors. Well, gotta go. for making a great video. You've learned how to storyboard an idea, you've seen rehearsal and taping, and now it's time for you to make your own videos. Remember, the key is to plan your video well, be creative, and above all, have fun. Have fun. See you at the movies. Hold on, before you turn off your TV, I've got one last thing to tell you. I've taught thousands of people how to make their own videos, and always the best tapes are the ones where people care deeply about their subject. Here's one of my favorite kid vids that actually won a national award. Excuse me, miss, do you wear your seatbelt? Forget it, dude, it's totally uncool. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you wear your seatbelt? No, Shunny. It wrinkles my clothes. Excuse me, sir. Do you wear your seatbelt? Not enough time. Too many things to do. Excuse me, sir. Do you wear your seatbelt? Yeah, I wear my seatbelt. I think it's a good idea. Now that you've seen this tape, you have the ability to make your own TV. And I challenge you to make television that really matters. Pick a subject that's important to you and go out and make a tape. Go ahead. 
change the world. And while you're at it, if you feel that your video is important and you'd like other people to see it, send it to this address and we'll try to market it through the Noodlehead Network, which is described in your written materials. And remember, have fun.